to another video. I'm just going to do a little vlog today, I think. But I did want to quickly ask, I have a Cricut and I was wondering if you guys would like any videos on how to make things. I have a couple of ideas in mind of what, um, a couple of videos that I want to film on there um, about the Cricut. But I just wanted to see if you guys wanted any like specific videos or just like how to use it or anything. So let me know in the comments. Today is Saturday. Uh, it's quite nice outside actually. I've got washing on the line so that's always a good sign. It's quite mild. Been quite a mild week. An interesting week. My granddad's been poorly in hospital so I've had quite an anxious week this week but he's on the mend and should be home next week. We have his car here at the moment because um, it's due an MOT but it needs a real deep clean because he hasn't driven it for a very long time. Um, so my boyfriend's going to go and have a look and check everything's alright for the MOT and yeah I have a hobby craft haul to show you guys and what else did I have to show I don't remember but I will just bring you along for the day as I'm in here now I thought I would just show you my hobby craft haul um, I just got a few bits um, sorry if you can hear any noise I've got my window open and there's people in the allotment. A big box. <laughs> Most of it's my small business, so that's why. Excuse all the background, it's not giving. So, I wanted to get some stuff just because I'm lacking motivation or just like don't really know what to do for the shop and so I wanted to get some bits just to get the spark going, you know? So the main things that I've got were these deep box frames, or the shadow boxes I think they're called. And my plan is to, well, it might be a bit late for Valentine's Day, but these are all half price on Hobbycraft. So I got these cute little um, box frames. And I thought I could do like a heart of paper flowers in there. I thought that'd be quite cute. So we've got those. Yep, I got uh, 15 by 15. Got one of those. Um, I've also got this for... Oh, it's quite big, isn't it? I saw this and thought it would look really nice on my front door. Because where I had my wreath uh, for Christmas, I still have my little hookup. So I thought I could get something to go on there for the rest of the year. Oh, it's really cute actually. So, once all of my porch has been power washed, I thought I'd hang this on there because I just think that's so cute and pretty. It's just like a white wooden wicker. Oh, that's cute. And then I got some card just for the uh, flowers because I'm running out. So I got a load of white paper and then I got this, um, all different colours, so I thought that would be cute for flowers too. I got some red ribbon, because I thought that would be cute maybe to make some bows or something. And I also wanted some for a bow in my hair, so I got that. And then I also saw another inspiration picture on Pinterest for these um, box frames to do little baby feet but, in, but made out of buttons. So, I got white, pink, green, and blue buttons for that. So I'm excited to do that. And then the last thing I got was some wool because I'm on a crochet blanket. And I saw this colour and it's just so pretty. I got this colour here. It's like a rusty orange colour. This is just the Hobbycraft brand, extra chunky. And I've got four of these. So yeah, that's my Hobbycraft haul. It's really quite windy out there now, actually. Hopefully my blankets will get dry that are on the line. I just came up here to read a bit more of my book. Um, I've had it for a while, but you know when you just pick a book up and put it back down again? and It's been one of those, but it's called The Pumpkin Spice at Cafe. Hang on, let me do that again. It's called The Pumpkin Spice Cafe. And it's actually really good. I was reading it um, last night because 
I'm trying to have less screen time in the evening. So yeah, I've started reading this and it's really good actually. I'm pretty much just over halfway. Um, and yeah, I really like it. It's just like an easy read, um, which is great for me. Um, but I really want to finish reading this book because I've got the, what is it called? The Chestnut Springs books to start and they're downstairs and looking at me. And I really want to start them, but I can't start another book without finishing this one. I did have a book that I just couldn't carry on reading and I think it was called Book Lovers I think it was called I just couldn't quite get into it which is very unlike me I think that's the like first book that I've ever not been able to carry on reading <laughs> but anyway yeah if you're looking for like an easy read The Pumpkin Spice Cafe is really good yeah I've just got some ironing to do today it's near, almost lunch time so have some lunch I've washed all of um, the dog's bedding and stuff today, so that's on the line. Yeah, just a, a productive Saturday. I'm trying to keep myself busy and distracted from um, thinking about my granddad in the hospital. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's really, really difficult and sad when your grandparents are getting old and, you know, they can't really look after themselves like they used to. Something that I wanted to talk about in this video was favourite like TV shows and things just things that I'm enjoying at the moment. This year so far I've watched The Summer I Turned Pretty. I really enjoyed that actually. I will say I preferred the first season to the second. I didn't really feel the need for well just personal preference really. I didn't really it felt the second series felt quite long to me. I didn't think it needed to be that long but anyway I still enjoyed it um I think it's called my life with the Walter boys on Netflix that's really good I really love that I hope they bring out another series something else I watched on Netflix was I think it's called American Nightmare that's like a true crime um documentary sad but an interesting watch I watched Fool Me Once that was really good I really enjoyed that actually um, what else have I been watching Love on the Spectrum brilliant if you want something just like light hearted um, an easy watch it was such a good program I loved it. I binge watched the whole series because it was so good The Watcher was very good I really enjoyed that apparently they're doing another series which be interesting so yeah I'm gonna have some lunch now I think I've had on my soup this week so I'm just back to pasta for lunch hi guys I've skipped over a bit of the afternoon there because I was filming a video on how to make this little thing here so keep an eye out for that video, it's a little cricket tutorial. So today I just had lunch and then I filmed this video. I spoke to my granddad on the phone, which he's doing really well, so he should be coming home really soon. But yeah, I might just go and read some of my book before I start dinner. I think we're having like a mash tea tonight, so really nice. And also the gladiators is on tonight. Good morning. It is Monday the 12th Feb. I started this vlog last week, but I've had only a couple of weeks. My granddad's been quite poorly in hospital, so that's been stressful and very up and down. So I thought I would come on here today feeling okay today so I thought that I would just come on and these are really annoying I thought I'd just come on and do a bit of skincare and chat to you this morning I've not been feeling my best I finally had a shower last night off my hair um, so yeah, I've been very, very anxious this week and just haven't really known what to do with myself. But it's 
gonna be fine. So it's a lovely day today, it's really nice. What is the temperature today? Oh, six degrees, but it's blue skies and the sun is out, so that's good. The plan for today is I've already been up and had the food shop this morning, so I've done that, I've made the bed. Um, plan for this afternoon is my my granddad's car is due for an MOT this week. So my mum's dropped it off here so we can clean it because it's been sat for about six months. He doesn't use it, but I think the plan is to sell it. But um, it needs a good clean. So um, I think I'm going to do that today just to get outside, get some fresh air. So I feel like I just have been cooped up in this house. Actually, I don't really need to do any housework because... When my mind is stressed, I clean. <laughs> so yesterday I pulled out all of my bed and bedside tables and I hoovered and dusted and cleaned all behind there. So that's done. Um, what else have I cleaned? What haven't I cleaned? Here's the question. I had the biggest panic attack of my life the other night, last Friday. So that was great. <laughs> Just a bit of reality, you know. It's been about a week since I last filmed for this vlog, so I do apologise. And also, sorry for it, me in my dressing gown. <laughs> I'm cold today, so I've got a cup of tea. Really, really wanting a spring now. I'm fed up of being cold and rainy and miserable. <laughs> I just want to get out in my garden and just, it's just a tip. I just want some nice weather so I can go out there, clean it, tidy it, you know, make it all look nice. That's my like goal for the summer is I want to have the garden looking really nice for summertime so I can have people in the garden. That's my update. Sorry if this vlog was a bit higgledy-piggledy, I'm currently editing it. So I don't really know what the flow is going to be like, but yeah i really hope you enjoyed this vlog and i will see you in my next video bye guys